So for today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to make your own chip bag template. This is going to help you when creating each design for your custom chip bag. We're going to start off by using Canva and you want to click where it says create a design. Click where it says custom size and put in the dimension for the size of your paper. Mine is 11 by eight and a half inches and you want to make sure it's in inches. From there, you should have your template placed in Canva and you wanna click where it says file, view settings and show rulers. This is gonna help us when putting in our designs to make sure that it's centered and in the right spot. You wanna to go to file, view settings again and show the margins cause we wanna make sure that our design is not gonna get cropped when we are creating our custom chip bag. We're also going to pull in a square, okay? Or you just type in square if you cannot find it. But this is going to help us create our guidelines for the chip bag, okay? So this is the square. And I'm going to bring it up to the very top and stretch it out to about, I would say, I usually do or anywhere from 5.4 or 5.5 inches and I stretch it all the way down to the bottom, which is going to be eight and a half inches. So it's five by five and then the eight by eight and a half. So you want to make sure it's centered and you will know when Canva shows you the pink line. Now from there, I'm going to go to the side where the ruler is at. You want to click and drag. And you can see here that we have these purple guidelines. And all you have to do is click where the ruler is at and hold and drag to where you want to stop. And I'm bringing it to each side of this box that I have in the middle. Because this middle part is where I'm going to put the design for the chip bag. And you want to do the same for the very top. You want to bring your lines to where the margin is at. And this is the top and bottom ridges of our chip bag. And you want to delete that. You want to remove the margins and also delete the box. And this is pretty much the entire look for the template. Now I'm pulling in some designs so that you can understand where you need to place them. So of course I'm doing a Barbie custom chip bag and I'm gonna stretch it out and also remove the background. But you can see here that I have Barbie centered in that middle part, okay? So anything outside of that will be cropped for the front part of the chip bag. So you wanna make sure that it's within the guidelines. I'm also giving it a nice pink gradient background and I'm gonna bring it to the back. And I'm also gonna add in some other elements to make it a little bit more eye-catching. So for the ridges of my chip bag, I want it to be pink. So I'm gonna put it at the very top above that margin line. And I'm gonna do the same for the very bottom. This is totally optional, but this is if you want a different color for the ridges of your chip bag. I'm also gonna bring down the transparency a little bit just to make it a little lighter. Now I'm gonna bring in the nutrition facts. This is once again optional, but I love to create chip bags that look just like they do in a store, but with my own custom design. So I'm gonna add that to the side of the chip bag. I'm also gonna add in a QR code and the Barbie logo. And with the QR code, I did add in my website. So anybody that scans it will be able to go to my landing page and check out my content and all that good stuff. I'm adding in some hearts, which you can find on Canva just by typing in hearts. There's tons of designs there. And I'm gonna bring down the transparency to make it a little bit lighter. I want Barbie to really stand out and anything that's in the back of her, I don't want it to take away from the main subject, which is Barbie. So I'm gonna add in some different type of hearts. I'm gonna bring it to the back. Then I'm also going to make it just a little bit lighter by bringing down the transparency. And I'm gonna duplicate it and also add it to the other side. So it's all about having fun and placing things where you want them to go based off your entire visual for this look. But I really did enjoy creating these really cute chip bags. I think this can be really great for birthday parties, 
um, special occasions, events. You decide what you want to use them for, but they're really easy to make, especially if you already have the template created for you. So once again, by following these steps, this is the entire layout of my chip bag. Now, once you do that, you do want to download it to your computer. Make sure it's in PNG. That will give you the best quality as far as when you print it. And that's pretty much it. Now, the great thing about the guidelines is they will not appear on your chip bag when you print it out. It's just a guideline to show you on the screen as you're creating your design. So make sure that each time that you are creating your design on Canva for your chimp bag, that you duplicate that template so that you always have copies for every design that you create. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Let me know what video you would like to see next, and I'll see you next week for a new video.